good evening all welcome to the new series that is differentiating point series so this this time we will see role of ultrasound and color doppler in differentiating graves disease from hashimoto's thyroiditis so 44 year female came with thyroid swelling anxiety weight loss palpitations and proptosis you can see there is diffusely enlarged thyroid gland with few hypoechoic areas noted within the square thyroid parenchyma on color doppler you can see there is raised vasculite in the wall of the thyroid gland and even in the isthmus on power doppler there is intense vascularity noted within the thyroid gland so whenever you see intense vascularity like this with no intervening normal thyroid parenchyma which is classically known as thyroid inferno pattern so this is called thyroid inferno pattern so thyroid inferno pattern consists of multiple small areas of color flow seen diffusely throughout the thyroid gland in both systole and diastole and it represents increased vascularity and even arteriovenous shunting so this thyroid inferno pattern is classically seen in graves disease it is also seen in few cases of hyperparathyroidism in hashimoto's thyroiditis also known as hashitoxicosis and also it is used as an indicator in the in the response of treatment in the response of treatment to the graves disease this thyroid inferno pattern can be also used as an indicator next case 35 year female came with thyroid swelling history of joint pains fatigue and muscle weakness you can see these are the whole of the thyroid is enlarged isthmus is enlarged there are multiple echogenic nodular lesions noted scattered in the thyroid parenchyma with few hypoechoic areas intervening hypoechoic areas there is raised vasculite and color doppler so these are nothing but multiple echogenic nodular lesions they are nothing but regenerative nodules so these are all the multiple regenerative nodules so in sometimes you can see these are multiple benign regenerative nodules in hashimoto's thyroiditis so whenever you see a large benign nodule or echogenic nodule with hypoechoic halo in case of raised enlarged gland with raised vasculite and color doppler definitely suspect white knight nodule or white knight sign so this is nothing but the white knight nodule or white knight sign in hashimoto's thyroiditis and these are the multiple echogenic regenerative nodules which are seen in hashimoto's thyroiditis so this appearance typically is also known as swiss, swiss cheese pattern or even bag of marble appearance so this single nodule is called as white nodule white knight nodule or white knight's nodule sign in hashimoto's thyroiditis thanks to dr santhanu das for contributing this case next case 52 year female with chronic thyroid swelling dry coarse skin and joint pains you can see the whole of the thyroid gland is enlarged and you can see there are multiple hypoechoic areas these are multiple hypoechoic areas typically measuring between 1 to 6.5 mm noted scattered throughout the thyroid parenchyma so these are nothing but called the micronodular pattern so this micronodular pattern is also seen in hashimoto's thyroiditis so these are micronodules are nothing but lymphocytic infiltration areas so this lymphocytic infiltration areas are nothing but called micronodular pattern which is classically seen in hashimoto's thyroiditis so th thanks to dr indranil sir for contributing this case next this is also a thyroid gland which is enlarged there are multiple hypoechoic areas these are the multiple hypoechoic areas with intervening normal thyroid parenchyma so this is the normal thyroid parenchyma and these are the multiple hypoechoic areas so these alternating no hypoechoic areas with normal thyroid parenchyma typically resembles the skin of the giraffe or giraffe hide so that's why this is called as giraffe pattern so this is nothing but giraffe pattern also seen in hashimoto's thyroiditis and these hypoechoic areas are nothing but lymphocytic infiltration in the normal thyroid parenchyma next case 26 year female with history of chronic weakness constipation weight gain hair loss and chronic hypothyroidism you can see whole of the thyroid gland is enlarged and the normal echogenic parenchyma of the thyroid gland is lost replaced by hypoechoic areas diffuse hypoechoic areas so no, whole of the thyroid gland is diffused hypoechoic with ill defined echogenic fibrous strands so these are multiple fibrous echogenic strands and the whole of the thyroid is completely replaced by hypoechoic tissue so this is nothing but chronic lymphocytic infiltration in case of chronic hashimoto's thyroiditis so this classical appearance is called ghost like thyroid gland which is seen in chronic hashimoto's thyroiditis where the normal thyroid parenchyma is replaced by complete lymphocytes or lymphocytic infiltration with fibrous strands giving this classical ghost like thyroid gland in chronic hashimoto's thyroiditis so these patients will present with chronic hypothyroidism next this is the video we'll see this is the inferior thyroid artery so this inferior thyroid artery is nothing but arises from the thyrocervical trunk in 85% of cases 
and in 15% of cases it arises from subclavian artery so this inferior thyroid artery this inferior thyroid artery typically arises from the thyro cervical trunk and we have to take the PSVs from the inferior thyroid artery and this is the PSV sampling from the inferior thyroid artery so coming to the next case you can see there is a diffusely enlarged thyroid gland with raised vas dilator and color doppler and this is the PSV of the we are taking the inferior thyroid artery PSVs and here the PSVs are nothing but peak systolic velocities are greater than 100 centimeters per second. So this is classical case of Graves disease where the PSVs can be greater than 100 centimeters per second because it is a hyperdynamic circulation states. So Graves disease is a hyperdynamic circulation states. So that's why the PSVs of the inferior thyroid artery are greater than 100 centimeters per second. Next another case the diffuse thyroid enlargement with hyperechoic nodules noted within it. There is raised vascular tankana doppler and the PSVs from the inferior thyroid artery, they are typically at the, at the level of 40 centimeters per second. So this is a case of Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So PSV of the inferior thyroid artery can help in differentiating between Graves disease and Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So this is a FNAC from the thyroid gland where you can see multiple uh, benign thyroid follicular cluster cells surrounded by homogeneous pale pink cytoplasm. So this homogeneous pale pink cytoplasm surrounding the follicular cell cluster is typically called as fire flare appearance. So this fire flare appearance is classically seen in Graves disease. So this is a beautiful journal where the, that is fire flares which lead to Graves disease. So the, remember fire flare appearance in Graves disease on FNAC. So next we will try to differentiate all the points which helps in differentiating Graves disease from Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So here you can see the when, comes, when it comes to incidence it is common in females between 20 to 50 years. Hashimoto's is between 30 to 50 years and the antibody, antibodies produced in Graves disease are nothing but long acting thyroid stimulating antibodies. Next in Hashimoto's thyroiditis the antibodies are nothing but thyroid peroxidase antibodies or anti-thyroglobulin antibodies. Infiltrative ophthalmatia or dermopathy are commonly seen in Graves disease. It is not seen in Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Association with other autoimmune disease or syndromes is not commonly associated with Graves disease but it is commonly associated with Hashimoto's disease. Risk of malignancy that is non-Hodgkin's lymphoma or papillary carcinoma of thyroid is not associated with Graves disease but there is increased risk of these malignancies that is non-Hodgkin's lymphoma or papillary carcinoma of thyroid in Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Hypoechoic micronodular pattern or pseudonodular pattern which is between 1 to 6.5 mm is not commonly seen in Graves disease but it is commonly seen in Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Bag of marble appearance, Swiss cheese appearance or white night nodular appearance or giraffe pattern is not seen in Graves disease but it is commonly seen in Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Diffuse hypoechoic appearance or ghost like thyroid gland which is seen in chronic cases of Hashimoto's thyroiditis but it is not seen in Graves disease. Cervical lymphadenopathy that is typical predilection for level 6 cervical lymphadenopathy is commonly seen in Hashimoto's thyroiditis not seen in Graves disease. Thyroid inferno pattern is commonly seen in Graves disease is not commonly seen in Hashimoto's thyroiditis except in few cases of Hashitoxicosis. And Doppler indices that is inferior thyroid artery PSVs as we have seen in the previous video are typically greater than this cutoff value. Remember this cutoff value as 40 centimeters per second and if the PSV is greater than 40 centimeters per second remember it's commonly seen in Graves disease. If it is less than 40 centimeters per second typically remember Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Fire flare appearance on FNAC is classically seen in Graves disease not seen in Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Hartel cell metaplasia on biopsy is not seen in Graves disease. It is classically seen in Hashimoto's thyroiditis. These are all the references. Thank you all. And special thanks to Dr. Indanil Sir, Dr. Santanu Das and Akshay Kumar Kamble for publishing few cases in EPOS which I have taken as a reference for increased PSVs in Hashimoto's and Graves disease slides.